so this is the submission for the beta stage. Um, so the tutorial layout has been updated. The One of the effects for the potentiometer, the first one, has now been switched to a tremolo effect. Uh, the second knob still is distortion, and the third is reverb. We have our eight FSRs. Uh, the first one is an arpeggiator, and the second through the eighth are all notes on a scale that can be selected by the user with a key. Uh, the hue selection is still the same for the ribbon sensor. And uh, now we can move over to the painting page. We'll go to the free play. So for this stage in beta, I added, uh, Ali actually created some custom music for the songs and now through the select option you're able to transpose those songs into a different key. So we can start off in A minor, we can also go from B minor and change keys. Again, we still have the start and stop. Um, the keys still work with selecting a key. So normally all this would be going on at the same time. The reason that we have the music stopped and things is for effectiveness of the presentation of beta. Uh, so if Brian, if you could initiate some of the sounds of the flute and then Brian, if you could switch, start, uh, I'll actually trigger some of the the sensors, and then Brian's gonna let, uh, turn the pot to control first the reverb. And so for effects, we have uh, first is the reverb. I'm gonna play the arpeggiator, and the reverb pot is gonna be changed. to the second pot. The second pot controls the distortion amount of the effect. And the third potentiometer controls the tremolo. Basically, we also have the reverb pot connected to a change in the width of the stroke. So when the user's moving, can change the width. And uh, let me just also put... So as the stroke gets wider, the amount of the reverb is also increasing also able to change the colors as we go on. So now I'll move over to the coloring play page. And for here, uh, you're able to color in and the you're always coloring behind the picture. So you're able to keep that on top. And Mason created all these custom artwork pieces and there's 10 in total. And so for each, I also set up a change picture button so the user can easily switch to the next picture and it automatically clears out what they've done and shows a new picture. Uh, yeah, so there's 10 of these in total. And so there's a lot of variety for the user to go in here and manipulate these pictures and create something nice. Uh, and going back to the stroke, you know, you'd be able to change the stroke, you'd be able to change the color. Um, and the user also can clear out the canvas at any time. They can start the music. 
they can stop the music, they can change the song, they can change the key. So we've also fixed the bug with the line. So now the user can draw really solid lines. There's no gaps in between and everything is working as expected.